Bora, Zu. Hi, guys. Today we're going to look at the solo from Head Shrinker. Really, really cool tune. Um, I know this is a song from the master plan, but I believe it's a B-side to Some Might Say. Oh, I've just got a message. Um, yeah, really, really, really cool tune um, in the key of D. So mostly in D minor pentatonic, but it's a little bit more interesting that as well at times. And there's also the blues note in there, which um, is one he's used quite a lot. Section of this solo are a bit different from Noel, so it's quite an interesting one. So as we go through that, we'll just talk about what he would normally play and, and how it's slightly different. Playing over um, D, two bars of D, two bars of C, then it goes B flat to G to F. So it's not classically what you'd find in the key of D. So it's also, there's a couple of chords there that are non-diatonic from the key of D. And they have give a, a feel of D minor, okay? The rest of the song is, is more in D, but yeah, so it's got a feel of D minor as well. So that's why we're mostly using that D minor over the top. So it's a really interesting sound that we're getting with a, yeah, quite an interesting kind of chord sequence underneath. I don't know why I keep saying kind of, it's just a quite an interesting chord sequence underneath. You know, classic rock tone, you know, probably um, his Les Paul into some kind of Marshall stack or orange or, you know, one of the many, many different things that he's used. For me, obviously, it'll be my Strat, probably into my Black Star at the moment. So hopefully it'll sound somewhere similar. So the next thing you'll see is me playing through it with no backing so you can hear what I'm trying to go for uh, and then we'll go through it step by step. Okay, so that was me uh, mulling my way through the solo. So basically, the first bit is a stop. So it's actually um, an A, um, eight down strums on an A. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we come into the solo, one minute 40 into the song. So that's my first lick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend the 12th fret on the G string with my ring finger, have my middle finger helping out and my first finger deadening all those strings. I'm gonna have my pinky on 13 on the B. I'm gonna do the bend without playing anything, and then I'm gonna play both the G and the B strings and bend them down. Very, very, very gradual down bend is the first bit of this solo. So that's lick one, best lick one ever. Lick two and three, okay, are completely and absolutely identical. So we love that, same shape, same idea completely. I don't know why I say completely so many times. Anyway, so I'm gonna bend 12, but this time I'm not gonna pre-bend it, I'm gonna pick the bend. Then I'm gonna pick the 13 separately. And on the fourth one, I'm gonna continue the lick. So it's four. Then I'm gonna play 12 on the G. Now, actually, I end up almost bending that down like that sound because we're trying to go quite quickly. I don't think that's deliberate, but it does sound like he's doing that when he's playing the solo. So, 12 on the G, 10 on the G, then 12 on the D, and then nine on the G. Now, there's lots of um and ah ah ring by me because normally you'd expect it to be 10 on the D, but I'm sure it's nine on the D, I'm sure it is. Um, so that's a B note, really cool sound. Um, yeah, it works really, really nicely over that D chord. It's actually the, uh, major sixth. So it's a really cool sound. So as I say, that's my lick, and I do it twice exactly the same. So let me do it nice and slowly for you. So that's the lick as, as a one, and I say it's just twice through to play through the solo. Really cool lick, um, and also this repetition of quite long licks is very, very, um, consistent with what Noel Gallagher does in a lot of his solos. So that's really, really, really cool. The next bit, um, so what is effectively, I guess this is lick four. It's almost like a blues um, run up the scale, basically. We start 10th fret on the uh, G string there. Now it's a little, it's, it's quite a lot of vibrato. It's almost a little curl down, but it sounds more vibrato -y, like that. First thing is playing that. So this is the scale. We're just gonna work our way through, basically, which is the uh, D blues scale. 
So I mentioned this was in kind of D major the song. This all feels like D minor, really, in terms of what we're playing, which is a classic bluesy thing to do. So 10th fret on the G string. Okay, then we're gonna play 12 on the D, 10 on the D, but then we're gonna go back to 12 on the D. Like that. 12 on the A, then 11 on the A, then 10 on the A. So that's D blues completely. And then I'm gonna to go to eight on the A as well. I don't know why I paused then. Then 10 on the E, which is the root note D. Then eight on that D, uh, A, sorry, oh my goodness. Eight on the A, back to 10 on the E, back to eight on the A, back to 10 on the D. And we slide away to so actually heading to that part of the guitar after that. So let me just play through that lick after talking through it very, very badly. Okay, so it's actually quite simple um, when you see it played. When you talk through it, it sounds way more complicated than it actually is. As I said before, it's just basically running through the D blues scale. Now we play this F note, uh, eighth fret A string here. You could play it up here, but I think it sounds like he's playing it there. Just because of that bit sounds better. Than... But that works as well, so obviously feel free to do that if you prefer. Um, and, but that's really, really nice uh, lick for, let's say, very much a bluesy lick that. That's, that's really what you'd expect to find in a blues. Now the next lick is, is where it starts to get a little bit different. So we've just slid down from 10 straight into this open lick. Open A string, third fret on the A, open D, third fret on the D, open D. Now we're going to do that lick again, so remember that lick. Let me adjust slightly so now this bit of the guitar is more in the middle of the screen. So that is what is effectively now lick five. And then we get this really cool. And this is what we're going to be doing for this next kind of eight bar -y section. Very, very, very interesting. So after the open three on the A, open three open on the D, I'm then going to do two more opens on the D, then one on the B, which is a C note, open D again, then three on the B, which is a D note, and then two more open Ds. So we end up from the slide. Okay, so that's going to lead us into our next lick, which is a really, really, really interesting lick. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to hammer on from first fret to second fret G string, so that's a G sharp to an A note. Then I'm going to play third fret on the B, open G, third fret on the B, open D. Okay, so that's this lick, there's a this whole bar actually played over a D chord. So that's the lick, really cool. We're gonna do that exactly the same in a few minutes, but. Okay, then the next lick, open A, third fret A, then on the D string, open, three, open, open, open. So if we put those two bars together, we get this. Really cool, yeah, not normally what I'd expect from Noel as well, so it's a really interesting idea. And actually, we're gonna do it exactly the same again, straight afterwards. So this first one um, is played over the D chord and the second one's played over the C chord, but it's exactly the same riff, so it ends up being, so as we talked about, lick five is basically, this is lick five, from the slide again, lick five. And then lick six. six and then lick seven played straight afterwards because they are exactly the same. Really, really cool, love those licks. They're just slightly different, they're just really interesting. So anyway, I'm a nerd, so let's do the next bit. So what I say that was um, lick six and seven, I believe. So now on to lick eight, 
Very, very similar to what we've just done. We start exactly the same, in fact. This is now over the B flat to G to F section of the chord sequence. First finger, first fret, uh, hammering onto second fret, exactly the same as we've done before. Don't know why I said it so weirdly. Third fret on the B, back to that D note. Open G, then third fret on the B. Now this time we're gonna go back to first fret on the G. So we end up with this. Then we're gonna play third fret on the B, open G. Then on the A string, open, three. Then on the D, open, three, open. So that, lick eight. So I did that a little bit quickly, let me actually do that a little bit slower. Okay, so that's lick eight. Okay, so final lick, lick nine. I think I should really write down what lick I'm up to, shouldn't I? But I don't. So now we're back down to this part of the guitar, played over a D chord. We're gonna go back to that same kind of feeling as we had before, more bluesy. What I'm gonna do here with my middle finger, I'm gonna do a double stop. G string 10th fret, B string 10th fret. I'm gonna play that and I'm gonna wiggle it, give it a bit of vibrato, why not? Then with my pinky, I'm gonna play 12 on the D. Then I'm gonna play nine on the D with my first finger. Like that. So it's double stop, 12 on the D, nine on the D, double stop. Then I'm gonna play, There's a that final double stop there is half a beat longer. It actually ends up being a whole beat, but it's the and of four and the one on the next bar. Then it's gonna be 12 to nine on the D again, and then another double stop at 10. And then I've got three more tens, which I do all with down picks. So we end up that final ninth um, lick being. Like that, okay? So that's the final lick of the solo. I think I've gone through all the licks nice and slowly, so hopefully that makes sense and you'll be able to um, work out what's going on. Uh, yeah, excellent. Hey, there we go, we're done. That's the end of the solo. Really, really, really cool solo. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video, hopefully you've enjoyed learning it, and I'll do my usual bit at the end where I say, if you did like the video, please like the video. It really, really, really helps. Um, please comment on the video, again, that really, really helps, and please subscribe to the channel. Again, it really helps. Uh, obviously, you get asked to do that by everyone, but it, it genuinely does help. As a content creator, it, it makes a big, big difference when people choose to do that, and I really do appreciate it when people do. And, and I pretty much, because I'm quite a small, got another message. Um, uh, so, because um, I'm quite a small kind of channel, I have, find that I can usually reply to most people as well. So if you have a question, feel free to ask it. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I'll see you guys again soon for some more, probably, Oasis, let's face it. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.